Oh uh, yeah, hi guys. My name is Narayan, and uh, welcome all the viewers in this video, guys. So, guys, in this video, I just tried to collect uh, the, I mean, a uh, few facts about um, what's new in Windows Server 2016 because it's uh, gonna be launched in couple of uh, uh, coming days. Uh, recently, Microsoft has uh, released the preview mode. I mean, uh, just preview of Windows Server 2019. So I just collected few facts about this and I'm just gonna share here. If I if you found it uh, helpful for you guys, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. And my channel is basically based on CCN and MCIT, uh, MCITP videos, so you may get lots of things from there. And so guys, let me tell you uh, the very first thing what they have. Uh, I mean, focused in this uh, version of Windows Server. So first one is hybrid uh, cloud scenario. They have. Uh, try to bring a uh, couple of new things in this first of all if we talk about this extending active directory synchronizing file server uh, this added uh, the first one include in inside this uh, hybrid first one is extending active directory second is uh, synchronizing file servers and backup in the cloud are just a few example of what customer are already doing today to extend their ca uh, data centers at uh, to the public cloud so this is the just basic thing you can say what we are doing in uh, day to days in current and in addition a hybrid approach also allows for apps running on the on premises to, to, uh, to take advantages of uh, innovation in the cloud such as uh, artificial intelligence uh, and iot hybrid clouds enable a future proof long term approach which is exactly why we see it uh, playing a central role in cloud is a strategy of uh, for sales futures and the third thing about this guys in the hybrid cloud department customer will be able to use uh, this one this is new uh, feature they are launching you can say the feature or uh, the project in this which is known as uh, Honolulu uh, to manage their Windows Server deployment and uh, with this they they may i mean uh, they have focused to reduce the use utilization or usage of the gui mode and they are focusing on a uh, power cell something like that so this is gonna be a very helpful for the windows server deployment all we will see once it is released and uh, microsoft says that people will be able to easily integrate azure services such as azure backup azure file sync is a uh, disaster recovery and such more so they, uh, they will be able to leverage these Azure services without disturbing their application and infrastructure. So they have focused on lots of uh, aspects you can say or lots of uh, things in this version. So it comes under hybrid uh, cloud scenario. So what we are going to uh, get. Next thing if we talk about security what they have done in, in security. So in security. Security continues to be priority uh, for our customers what they say and the number of uh, cyber security incidents continue to grow uh, It is very uh, basic things or very common uh, thing you can say in nowadays and it is impacting or uh, the number of I mean Very high these kind of activities. So what they have done for this a Microsoft study shows that attackers take uh, average just 24 to 40 48 hours to penetrate an environment after infecting the uh, first machine okay this is the scenario what they have gone through the study in addition attackers can stay in the uh, penetrated environment without being noticed for up to 99 days on average according to a report by FireEye uh, mandate mandiant basically so this is the scenario what they have uh, studied and in th they found that they can uh, you know just uh, stay in your background or in your internet I mean network for 90 days without noticing or you will not be knowing that the attacker has done the attacks to so what they have done uh, as per their approach to security is threefold they have uh, uh, I mean they have made it in three terms like fold first one is second one is protect and then third one is detect and respond what is their planning here to avoid or to uh, deal with those kinds of attacks uh, we bring uh, security features in all three area in Windows Server 2019 so they have I mean they are bringing uh, lots of security features in all three areas on the protect, protect uh, front 
if we talk about this one what they have done what does it mean so we introduced sealed uh, sealed vm in windows server 2016 so it is already there in 2016 which was enthusiastically uh, received by our customer so it was very liked by the customer and sealed vms protect virtual machines from com uh, compromised or miscellaneous administrators in the fa fabric so only vm admin can access it it on known healthy and attested uh, guarded fabrics so this 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 was already available on windows server 2016 but what they have done in server 2019 in windows server 2019 sealed vm wells or vm machines will now support linux vm also so they have focused on linux uh, communication as well in this version we are also extending vm connect to improve troubleshooting of uh, sealed vms virtual machines for windows server and linux so they, they are focusing uh, on the communication between I mean, windows server and linux server also so they are or we are adding encrypted network that will let admins encrypt network segments so security they are i mean they have focused more on the security with a flip of switch to protect the network layer between servers so it will create one kind of uh, uh, you can say the protection between switches or servers next thing on detect and respond so this was the first thing i mean first step what they have done in uh, and the second one is or you can say the next one is on the detect and respond front in windows server 2019 we are embedding windows defender advanced threat protection so they are bringing one more feature which is known as atp that provides preventing protection First one detects attacks and zero day exploits among uh, other capabilities into our operating system. This gives a customer access to deep uh, kernel and memory sensors, improving performance and uh, anti tampering and enabling uh, response action on the sub server machines. So these are the very uh, you can say the very uh, good features they have. Uh, uh, provided in this version and gonna be very helpful for the uh, enterprises or users so this is a just just view you can see here like uh, a machine risk you can say medium it will give you information about each and everything with the help of this so once it is released guys we will see more in detail and uh, if you see logged on uh, users and machine reporting like this there will be multiple information about this the next thing what they have focused is application platform so guys in windows server 2019 our goal the goal is to reduce the server core base containers image to a third of its current size of 5 gb so they will uh, they have focused to reduce this core server base containers image basically and they have decided to reduce this from its current 5 gb this will reduce download time of the image by 72 percent further optimization the, the development time deployment uh, development time and performance so it's gonna be very helpful it will uh, save time as well as space we are also continuing to improve the choices available when it comes to over uh, orchestrating windows over container deployments or uh, kuber kubernetes supports is currently is in vita Okay, and the Windows Server 2009, they are introducing significant improvement to uh, compute storage and networking component of uh, this clustering. Kubernetes, wow, very difficult for me to pronounce this one, guys. Kubernetes cluster. So it's it's a very uh, healthy thing, so very uh, good. I will tell you in next videos what does it mean. So guys, next thing if we talk about uh, application platform. With Linux and Windows deployment to address that if you need to deploy uh, Linux as well as uh, Windows what they have done in this to address that we previously extended Windows Server uh, Windows subsystem on Linux which is known as WSL into insider builds for Windows servers okay so that customers can run Linux containers side by side with Windows Server containers on Windows Server with the help of this WSLA uh, WSL now in Windows Server 2016 we are continuing on this journey to improve WSL 
helping Linux users bring their script to Windows while using industry standard like OpenSSS and curl and cha. So these are the uh, things what they have focused here. Uh, yes, this was a very big problem to have a communication between like Windows Server application and uh, Linux operating systems like that. So they are focusing to reduce that, all, that also in the server. So this kind of uh, is Kubernetes, uh, what I was talking about, look like this. So we will be knowing all those things here like uh, memory usage, CPU is usage and there are lots of things. So once it is released, we will see in detail guys. Next next topic or a subject what they have uh, focused is like hyper converged infrastructure which is known as also HCI. So hyper converged infrastructure is one of the latest trend in the server industry today according to IDC. Okay, the HIC market grew 64% in Windows Server 2016 and Gartner says someone from that Microsoft it will be 5 billion market by 2019. This trend is primarily because customer understand the value of existing uh, uh, value of using 32-bit uh, servers with high important local disk to run their co computer and storage needs at the same time. In addition, HCI gives the uh, feasibility flexibility uh, to easily scale such deployments if we have to make deployment like uh, this kind of scenario. So it is very good and very good uh, deal with what they have done next in Windows Server 2019 we are building on this platform by adding scale performance so they are improving this also and reliability reliability we are also adding the ability to manage HCI de uh, de uh, deployments in project Holo uh, Honolulu so this is gonna be very helpful this Honolulu to simplify the management and day-to-day -day activities on HCI environments so it's gonna be very interesting guys uh, as per my understanding what I have understood so far so if you look this project Hololulu so it will give information like this uh, dashboard or uh, I can't see more things here once I get this image of this server definitely I will be going very, very interesting it is so finally Windows Server customer using and they have also focused uh, for the system center if we talk about uh, Windows Server customer using System Center will be excited to know that System Center 19 2019 is coming and will support Windows Server 2019. So for System Center also they are uh, launching new one which is known as System Center to, uh, 2019 which will support Server 2019 as well. So guys in this video this much information only. I'm sure this is gonna be uh, helpful for you. If it is helpful please share this video to other guys also and uh, comment, us, comment on this video like this video and subscribe my channel till then bye bye guys and wait for my next video